go. Preseason All-American Casey Powell led his orange men to Virginia in overtime. Ryan Powell looked for Devin D'Arcangelo in front of the net. He tallied the game-winning goal. Syracuse won in overtime. 18-17, the Orange Men won their opener on the road. On March 9th, down in Florida, Matt Kataya had a huge game. Syracuse down Yale 17-3. Then Tony Siemens, Johns Hopkins Blue Jays on the schedule. Matt Kataya, another huge game. And long stick defender Devin Ackerman got into the act. The Orange Men down Hopkins 14-13. Syracuse ranked number one, 3-0. Right wing with a streak of speed. Powell comes on in, fans on their feet, score! Oh my goodness, what a move by the Carthage Comet! Shot top, good ball movement by oh, great save. Hobart, and a terrific save by Gepo. Oh, that was dead on. The Orange beat number two, John Hopkins, 14 to 13. Super Sports presents Syracuse University College Lacrosse. The Towson Tigers visit the Syracuse Orange Men in the Carrier Dome. Towson comes in 2 and 1 on the season. The Orange Men a perfect 3 and 0. Oh. Good evening and welcome to Super Sports presentation of Syracuse University Lacrosse from the Carrier Dome. The Orange Men getting set to play their 1998 home opener along with Dale Dreipolzer. I'm Ted DeLuca. Dale is Syracuse team off to a tremendous start. The Orange Men ranked number one. They're 3-0 after winning all three games on the road. The first time they've been 3-0 since 1990. We recall they won the national championship that year. Well, we talked to the coaches and they're really excited about where they are. The games on the road, winning down there, it's just, it's amazing and they're very excited. And this is going to be a good matchup with Towson. This is going to be a good game. Should be. The Orange went off to a great start. They come home for the first time. When you talk about Towson, it all begins with Steve Price, their leading goal scorer. Yeah, he's a leading goal scorer. They had some problems on the attack. They had some injuries, so they took Price and moved him down from the midfield. He's chipped in so far with 12 goals this season, so Syracuse is going to have to contend with Steve Price. Good lacrosse player for the Tigers. And of course, when you talk about Syracuse, you got to talk about the 1997 Player of the Year, Casey Powell. 12 goals, 9 assists on the season. He is the man that you want to try to stop but they've got so many weapons he starts it all but they got two or three other guys who can do very similar things so he's very very tough and Towson knows that once again the orange men very deep and talented as we get set for the face off let's take a look at this week's USILA poll there you see the Syracuse orange men rank number one followed by Maryland Virginia Princeton and Duke in the top five Johns Hopkins which lost to Syracuse last week comes in at six Loyola Georgetown North Carolina UMass round out the top ten Towson comes in two and one on the season ranked 18th in this week's poll. We'll come back after a break for the opening face-off, the starting lineups as well. The Syracuse Orange Men take on the Towson Tigers next on Super Sports. Syracuse University Lacrosse is brought to you by Brian Lacrosse. Welcome back to the Carrier Dome on the campus of Syracuse University. Let's meet the starting lineups for this evening's matchup between the Towson Tigers and the Syracuse Orange Men. First for Towson, Clune, Ford, and Price on attack. Friends in Paradise and Criswell at midfield. The defenders, Masherin, Arzalone, and Campbell, and Horrigan in goal for the Towson Tigers. He is a freshman, John Horrigan from Maryland, 23 saves on the season. 10 goals a game and a save percentage at 434. The starting lineup for the Syracuse Orange Men. Ryan and Casey Powell on attack. Dark Angelo rounds out that unit at midfield. Kataya, Kayoni, and Vanterpool on defense. It's Rule, McCartan, and Sheedy. Jason Gebhardt from nearby Camillus, New York, between the pipes. The senior in the midst of that huddle, getting set to lead his Orange Men onto the field. Syracuse off to a perfect 3-0 start to the season. Gebhardt has been magnificent. 36 saves, goals against average of 11.1, a save percentage of 545. The head coach is matching up yet again. Towson head coach Carl Runk, now in his 31st season, 259 wins, 155 defeats, and his opposite number, of course, the head coach of the Syracuse Orange Men, Hall of Famer Roy Simmons Jr. Slugger enters this matchup, having won six national titles as head coach of the Orange Men. Now in his 28th season, Roy Simmons Jr.'s record at Syracuse, 282 wins, 93 losses, and as we mentioned a moment ago, those six national titles. Jason Gebhardt between the pipes for the Orange Men, getting set 
to backstop the Syracuse defensive effort. This is the ninth meeting in this series. The Orange men lead it 6-2. They've won the last six games in a row, including last season's 14-11 victory at Towson. The Orange men control the opening faceoff, and we are underway. Quick shot on goal. Syracuse doesn't waste any time at all. The Orange men on corking their first shot of the game, and that came from faceoff man Matt Alexander. Syracuse putting the pressure on the freshman goaltender Horrigan as Ryan Powell uncorks his first shot of the game. He's already scored 10 goals this season. Ryan Powell controls for Syracuse to his brother Casey Powell wearing the legendary Syracuse lacrosse number 22. Trying to break away from the close defense. Horrigan makes a nice save. Freshman just wanted to get unlimited a little bit. He's a left-hander. He got it out and made a save, and now goes the other way for the Tigers. Very important for the Towson Tigers to get off to a fast start against the Orange men. They come in 2-1 and one on the season. Chris Criswell controls. Three goals, two assists for five points this season. And we notice right away Towson more patient than Syracuse. They haven't recorded a shot on goal yet. They are going to take their time. You don't want to get into a running game with Syracuse unless, well, unless you can actually do it, and there aren't many teams that can. So they are going to take their time. Syracuse has had some high-scoring games, a couple of overtime games, but I think they're going to be patient, and they're, watch, they're going to go back and set up and make sure that they've got things the way they want them. Teams never want to run with the Syracuse Orange men here in the Carrier Dome. All time in the Dome. Syracuse 105 wins, 8 losses, a winning percentage of 93%. Vanderpool playing some defense for Syracuse out high. Here comes a bounce shot over the cage on court by Greg Franzen, senior midfielder. Towson backing up the play behind the goal. The Tigers will keep it in the offensive end. Not much of a shot. Franzen took a bounce shot, but it bounced way in front of the goal, went up high. So they take it behind now. The look from up top. Towson trying to set up in front of the Syracuse goal. Aggressive defense played by the Orange men. The ground ball comes to Iowa Vanderpool. Quickly into the offensive end for the Orange men. Shot and a save. Horrigan uncorked by Marshall Abrams, long stick defender of the Orange men. Nice job of clearing by Towson, and they started the other way. Towson advancing into the offensive end. The Tigers patient on the perimeter. Todd Paradise uncorks it onto the far side as Towson works it around. Now Franzen controls out high, trying to angle in for a look at the goal. He's pushed back outside by Matt Guyoni. Syracuse has played terrific man-to-man -man defense in this first quarter, Dale. They have, and they continue to. Right now, you're going to get a chance to see Gebhardt with an outlet pass, and it's a beauty up to the wing. Defenseman over with it. Syracuse wants to run in transition. This is Josh Rule. He shoots wide of the cage to the near side. Syracuse backs it up. The Orange men will keep it. When Rule takes a shot, he's 6'6", 230, and uh, with a six-foot stick, he's an imposing figure. Horrigan, the freshman goalie, has done a great job so far for Towson. Figured he might be a little nervous. He's doing a super job. Can you recall Syracuse ever having a bigger lacrosse player, Dale? I can't come up with a bigger guy. No, and, and not one that ran that well. That, I would say at 6'6", six, six, that's just a, a real good athlete they got out there. Their shot going to be Towson ball and the Tigers back it up they will take it Syracuse with six shots on goal Towson with two we are underway here in the first quarter in the Carrier Dome the home opener for the Orange men in 1998 no score yet in the ball game Syracuse trying to close them off they could not uh, they get it down the wing Chris Criswell is checked Ball pops loose, and big Josh Rule comes up with it for the Orange men. He uses Gebhardt, the other goalie who's also left-handed. So you got two left-handed goalies and a break by Syracuse. Excellent passing by the Orange men to advance the ball into the offensive end. Tim Burns controls top of the box. Now Syracuse will set up offensively. Ryan Powell, even with the cage on the near side, 16 points this season, 10 goals, 6 assists. Behind the screen, set by his brother Casey. Ryan Powell with a spin move. Gets rid of the ball. Towson's defense has been solid here in the first quarter. They're making good slides, double teaming when they have to, and then getting back in position. They have not been uh, knocked out of position yet, and when they have, the goalies make good saves. Centering pass, shot Horrigan, knocks it away again. 
excellent centering pass by John Lazaro as he fed Tim Burns. Watch the shot. You're going to see what Horrigan actually, let me see how close it is on goal. It's kind of a jump shot. He took the angle away, get bounced wide, and went up over the uh, right, his right shoulder, left side of the goal. So Horrigan, only the freshman, you know, his backup's a freshman, so you don't have any experience there if you're if you're Towson, but Horrigan has played well so far. He has made some key saves early in this first quarter. Syracuse held off the scoreboard so far. No score in the first. There's a shot deflected as it was released by Tim Glisker of the Orange Men. Get a look at Glisker, the football player in there. The linebacker, he's playing, and a double team there, ball down. Casey Powell pops loose and scores, giving the Orange Man a 1-0 lead. You can't hold Casey Powell and the Orange Man off the scoreboard for Longdale. That was the first mistake they made. See right there? He fell down. The defenseman fell down, and they just couldn't do anything about it. It was number 31 for Towson. Watch him fall right there. And now Powell sees he's down, and he just comes right back in, puts the ball down low. And that was Tim Parks, the defensive midfielder, who fell down. And when Powell saw that, it was the reaction time, Teddy. He just went in and put it in the hole. Casey Powell leads Syracuse in scoring his 13th goal of the season and off the faceoff the Towson Tigers may have an offensive chance brewing they have to get a quick shot off and they oh, do good save. what a save by Jason Gebhardt as he stones Steve Price Price had a good shot the Syracuse lost some people coming out of the box somebody fell down Price was open but as you said Gebhardt was there with the stone wall Vanderpool gets it in midfield and they start back the other way Syracuse's passing and transition has been terrific. The Orange men quickly advance the ball into the offensive end. Abrams gets it ahead. Syracuse's offense trying to set up in front of the goal. Quick shot knocked away by Horrigan again. Syracuse players sent sprawling. And once again, that was Casey Powell. Big save by Gebhardt a moment ago. Absolutely. They got a good shot on him, the first good shot. And like his counterpart, Horrigan, on the other side, he made a good save and then started it back up the other way. A little timeout while they... A little equipment problem that Vanderpool had to tie his shoe. They give him time to get back in, and Powell Ryan variety will trigger it in. Ira Vanderpool, Casey Powell, and Chris McCartan, the tri captains for the Orange Men this season. That little problem with the cage got knocked out in that last flurry. They adjust it. Syracuse gets the ball. Controlling out high for the Orange Men, Matt Kataya. Off to a terrific start this season. Nine goals, five assists for 14 points. Well, one of the things you see now is that Towson's going to use a zone defense, and they're going to chase the guy with the ball, but the other guys are running kind of a zone. Now they jump out to try to double team. Ball is down. Syracuse comes up with the ground ball. Taken out high by Casey Powell, well away from the net. Now he's angling in. Ryan Powell's pass. Too strong, and Towson takes over. They went to a kind of a zone look and then chased the man with the ball. Casey Powell got loose in the middle, and they started yelling. Somebody's got to pick him up. The pass wasn't there, but they're trying to beat the zone, get him inside right down the middle, and uh, hope that he can lose somebody. And uh, they didn't get it that time. Towson's going to get a chance to clear. one nothing to score. Just underway in the first quarter. Tight defensive battle to this point. The Tigers with numbers in front. Centering pass. As Price tried to come up with the shot, he couldn't hit What a up. beautiful pass. Syracuse quickly in transition. The Orange men on the board again. Casey Powell with his second goal of the game, giving Syracuse a 2-0 lead. That was 27. That's Safarelli. Look at the pass. Look at that pass. Absolutely amazing how well he got that off. And uh, Horrigan was at the mercy of Powell. But look at the pass. It was just... Super by Safarelli. And he gets the assist. But Powell, the second goal. But that was all set up by that magnificent pass. Syracuse deadly in transition. Faceoffs even to this point. And Syracuse comes up with this one. The Orange men quickly into the offensive end. Matt Alexander controls on the near side. Feeding Casey Powell, who will bring it behind the cage. Chris Anzalone defending Casey Powell. Certainly a tough matchup for him. Yeah, they got a little crease violation there. Powell went through the crease, was looking for the high pass and the quick shot. He couldn't get it, and the referee saw the foot go in the crease, and that uh, 
brought him down. There's a look at Matt Coyone. Certainly has the longest hair yeah, of any you, Syracuse player. You can't miss it. <laughs> Coyone from Yorktown. There's a program that's turned out some lacrosse players. Ira Vanderpool beat the midfield. Shot. And that's wide of the cage to the far side. Chris Criswell looking for his fourth goal of the season. Misfires a bit, but Towson alertly backing up the play, keeps it in the offensive end. Criswell did a good job of getting loose. He beat Vanderpool down the slot, but didn't get a good shot. There's the shot total, 11 to 5. Well, nice check. Coyone sends his man sprawling. Ball loose at midfield. Kataya had his cross on it, couldn't come up with it. and Tigers reset in the offensive end. Syracuse using a man-to-man -man defense. Pretty much they've got a zone, but they pretty much stick with this. Towson much more patient on this offensive possession. Well, you don't, you know, you don't want to get in that run and gun and get down by more than two goals. There's a shot, not a very good shot, actually, not really on target. But you know what? If you get an opening, Ted, you got to take it, and that's exactly what they thought they had. Uh, number seven took the shot. That's uh, uh, Denunzio. Towson keeps the ball in the offensive end after backing up the play behind the goal. Matt Clune tries to back his way in. 13 points on the season for Clune. Quick shot, knocked away as Steve Price fired one on Jason Gebhardt. I want to mention Kevin Sheedy, 25, did a nice job playing defense there, really putting the aluminum on his man. And you can hear it right there. Tigers looking for their first goal of the game midway through this first quarter of play. Syracuse's close defense, very aggressive here in the first quarter. Ball comes out high to Towson. The Tigers working around the perimeter. Kataya matching up with his man. Back out high it comes to Chris Criswell. Now to the near side. Todd Paradise trying to get free for a shot. Comes up with one. Gethart knocks it away. Towson keeps it. Here's a quick shot wide of the net to the far side. Tigers keep the pressure on, though. Criswell misfiring again. Yep, they're trying to get the ball in the slot. Ackerman comes around. Watch, when you get anywhere near that crease, he bounces it out, can't control the rebound. You are going to get a lot of shoulders and helmets on you. That's exactly what happened. Towson putting the pressure on here. Here's a good chance. Excellent pass, and it results in a goal for the Towson Tigers. Greg Franzen puts his team on the board. The pass leading Franzen toward the goal made that play. Absolutely. He get, beats his man. That's running. That's moving without the ball. Franzen takes a left-hand shot. That was Paradise who made the pass. But watch him, left-hand shot. That's moving without the ball. He wasn't just standing. As soon as Paradise got the ball, he broke, left a man from Syracuse to step behind, and he converts the first time for Towson. Franzen's sixth goal. Syracuse winning two of the three face-offs to this point. Key assist on that play by Todd Paradise. As you said, Dale, that was a huge play to set up his teammate Franzen in front. Tigers collect the ground ball. Bounce shot and a score. Towson has tied up the game. Ryan Lakowitz, the faceoff man, evens things at 2 2. They had problems in the transition getting Pete Syracuse did, getting people in and out, and they left him wide open, and he just goes all the way down before they slide over to try to pick him up, but it was too late, and he just put on the, Lakowitz just put on the speed, number 20, and he beat Syracuse right down the middle. That's his first goal of the season. Converting on 61% of his faceoffs coming in, and we are all tied up at two. Loose ball after the faceoff. Both teams battling for possession. That's Deniker, 34, a junior college transfer, had it momentarily. He loses it. He comes off. He's been having a good year faceoff wise. I think they're going to both slow it down while they get their people in. They get the defensive middies off. E. Smith controls for Towson. He's pushed outside, drops it off for Dave Cummings. Out high, Greg Stark controls for the Tigers. Less than five minutes to go first quarter. We are tied up 2-2 in the home opener for the Syracuse Orangemen. You see all the movement as they 
move away from the ball and then go to their positions for picks and cuts. Bloom trying to break free. Can't do it. Centering pass in front. Shot knocked away by Gebhardt. That was very close. They had a nice job of feeding across the, the cage, cross cage feed, and that ball looked like it bounced off the stick. Maybe the, uh, the throat didn't hit the net. Greg Stark with that shot for Towson. The Tigers back it up, they'll keep it offensively. They've done a good job of backing up their shots to keep the pressure on the orange man. Sheedy just stripped him. That's a great takeaway by Sheedy, 25. Uh oh ball, ball back check. down, yeah. Chris McCartan comes up with the loose ball. That's a flag. We'll get our first penalty. But first, we'll see what Chris McCartan can do with this possession for the Orange. They got to keep it in the offensive box. They lost it, but that's an uncontrolled stick. If you see that number 16, he just really came by with a Steve Price, just the guy we featured at the beginning, just took a one-handed check. And even if you hit the person on the stick, they're, they're going to give you a minute. Jim O'Hara gives him one minute for a slash. So the first man-up opportunity for either team is going to start for Syracuse with Coyone out on top. Penalty on the Steve Price draws a one minute penalty for the slash. And Syracuse is a man up for the first time in this game. Syracuse 10 for 29 in the man up situations this season. Syracuse patient. As the penalty winds down, shot on goal, knocked away by the freshman keeper, Horrigan. And the loose ball comes to Towson. A key clear here for the Tigers. Horrigan can't get it away. Finally, he does. They're smart. He's just going to get rid of it. Syracuse almost had it. Let's see if they can come up with it. Ball back down again. McCartan fighting for it. Couldn't come up with it. The ball rolling into the Syracuse end. Unsettled situation for the Tigers. Pass. Here comes the shot to score. Huge goal for the Towson Tigers. Tim Parks from the feed by Chris Criswell. And the Tigers have scored three unanswered goals to make it a 3-2 Towson lead. Syracuse very aggressive on the ground ball, but they didn't get back and they had a great trailer. Criswell puts it in. There's the pass. That was just a dandy pass. It's Parks that put it in, 31. And Criswell on the assist. That was just a beauty, and but Syracuse was an unsettled situation. Ted, Syracuse had two or three guys trying to get the ball, and they knocked it out, and they had a clear opening and a nice assisting pass. Gives Towson a lead. Towson has control three of the five face-offs in this game. Ball is loose on the far side. Mark Deniker. Taken by Syracuse and Jason Deniker. They're going to lose it, though. And off of Deniker's stick, the face-off specialist, junior college transfer, is going to lose this one. The Tigers, led by their face-off man, as we see Steve Waltman come off the field, leads Towson in ground balls with 34. Their face-off man, Ryan Lakowitz, has been very aggressive against Syracuse at midfield. The Tigers have played very well here in the first quarter of action. A Syracuse double-teaming. Let's see if we got an offsides. Oh, timeout. Syracuse knew that they had a little bit of time left in the penalty, so they double teamed the ball. Then the guy who came in was free, but they didn't like the way it looked, and Towson took a timeout. Timeout taken by Towson head coach Carl Runt, once again matching wits with Syracuse head coach Roy Simmons Jr. Casey Powell off to a tremendous start this season. First team All American last season, a preseason All American this season. Here's how he stacks up against some of Syracuse's all time greats. You look at the career goals, Dale. Look at the names on that list. Gary oh, yeah. Gate, the leading scorer all time for Syracuse. Casey Powell moving up that chart. Yep, you can see this is before today's game. He's got a couple today, so he's going to make some progress progress and you know he's going to move up as this season goes on and assists as well Tim Nelson the all-time leader followed by John Zilberti and Tim O'Hara Rob Cavan who just left Syracuse fourth all-time Casey Powell 104 with a lot of lacrosse left to go this season and total points for a career at Syracuse O'Hara Nelson Zilberti Marichek in fourth place Casey Powell 28 points behind Tom Marichek as he continues to climb the charts here at Syracuse there he is number 22 Right now, he traded all for a, a lead. <laughs> He's gotten two, but uh, Towson has three and is going to get the ball 
in the Syracuse half. There it is, 3 to 2, 3 1 left first period in a well played and fast first quarter. And the Tigers have kept the ball in Syracuse's end for a good portion oh. of the first quarter. Flag comes yeah. flying down. Let's see what Towson can do. They've got to keep the ball in the box. Right. And that pass well beyond the reach of the Tiger on the near side, and we will get the call now. Syracuse's first man down, or Towson's first man up opportunity as they got a slash there. And it looks like Syracuse's Marshall Abrams will head into the box for a minute. Yeah, he bounced the stick off his head there, I think, and they called that right away. Right now, Syracuse looks a little confused defensively. They're, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're, they got two men down here. They need another guy in. Abrams from nearby Nedro, New York. Played his high school across at Lafayette. The Tigers come in seven for 18 in the man ups this season. So they have converted well, as has Syracuse. Move the ball around, shot, save. Kevin Hart comes up with a big save. Todd Paradise with the shot. Syracuse fighting for the ground ball and a bad pass. Towson keeps the pressure on offensively. Matt Alexander looking for Sheedy on that far side. Couldn't find him, so the Tigers keep it in the offensive end. Gebhardt has made five saves. They've all been clutch. Yeah, they've all been the point-blank shots. Tigers working around on this man-up situation. 7 for 18 on the season coming in to today's matchup in the Dome. That's in. Gebhardt almost knocked it aside, but Towson's Matt Clune scores to give the Tigers a 4-2 to two lead. Doesn't have to ripple the net. <laughs> As you'll see from this shot, Kloon going to take a left-handed shot. Down, stopped. Gebhardt thought he had it, and it just trickled by. You're going to see it here again. Left-hand shot, just down. Actually, hit. looked like yeah, it hit the net in the back. Yes, it did. So Kloon up with his seventh goal of the season, but more importantly for him, gives the Tigers a two-goal lead over Syracuse. Face-offs even. Both teams battling for the loose ball as it rolls toward the far side of the field. Very aggressive play. Players hitting the dirt. We'll see some rug burns after this battle. Tigers trying to come up with it. One of the long stick Tigers, Steve Wolfman, who leads the team in ground balls, nearly came up with it, number 43. Ball is still loose. This is lacrosse. <laughs> flag down. Another flag down. We'll wait for the call. Marshall Another Adams flag. Bring it in. Two flags down on the field. Can Syracuse convert with two flags on the field? They do. Casey Powell with the hat trick, and it's four to three, Towson. Towson could be two men down. Well, let's see what happened. They got the ball in the box. He fakes left, comes back right, and he just goes high on Oregon. Stick side. He comes, makes the move towards the goal. Really did a nice job there of making the move towards the goal and then rolling back out, and he comes up with his third. Let's check and see what we got here. Maybe one was wiped out if these were technicals. Gets illegal team action, which is wiped out by the goal. 43 in the black gets one minute for no mouthpiece, which is one minute, non-releasable. Okay, that's a full-time serve. You can't, without, you can't play without the mouthpiece, and he's saying that's full-time serve. No matter how many goals you get, he's in there for the full minute. Mental mistake committed by Steve Waltman. Syracuse leading the battle in the face-offs. So the Orange men will take another one. So he gets into the offensive end. Let me ask you, Ted, would you play this game without a mouthpiece? I wouldn't. <laughs> Steve Waltman has supreme confidence in himself, but he is in the box for a minute to give the Syracuse Orange men a man-up situation. And with that in mind, head coach Roy Simmons Jr. calls a timeout to set up the offense. Good point. That's exactly what they wanted to do. They, they wanted to make sure that they've got the right the right team in, the, the right combination of guys. And uh, that's exactly what they're doing right now. By the way, just it was kind of interesting because um, uh, Waltman, the guy who got the, the penalty called on him, went over to kind of talk to somebody from Syracuse, like somebody complained about it. But you definitely have to have that mouthpiece in. 
The next time we'll see these Syracuse Orange men in action here on Super Sports, the Loyola Greyhounds will come to the Carrier Dome to face Syracuse. You'll see that game Sunday, April 5th at 7 p.m. right here on Cable 13. The Orange men play very few games at home this season. Most of their games coming on the road here in 1998, but that hasn't daunted Syracuse at all. They're 3-0, ranked number one in the nation, coming into today's matchup after defeating Virginia, Yale, and Johns Hopkins away from the Dome. Man up today, Syracuse 0 for 1. Coyone's going to bring it in. He's got the first attack with him behind. Syracuse on the power play, second time in this game, trying to tie up the contest at four. The Orange patient, they work it around. Behind the screen, there's a shot. Save. Big save, Horrigan. The shot uncorked by Syracuse's John Anselm. Nice save. He just pops out, figures he's got the end. That's a head save. Yes, a face mask save. <laughs> head save and a beauty yeah. by Horrigan. The freshman with a wake-up call. Quick shot, knocked away. That came from Matt Kataya. Oregon has played well for a freshman. Yes, so is his helmet. <laughs> Kataya with nine goals on the season, off to an excellent start. We are all even in the shots department. 15 aside in this game. It's a pretty good statistic you look at, too. It gives you an idea of what's happened. They're even now. Penalty's over. Centering pass. And it's knocked away by the Towson Tigers. Towson in transition. A big check. Ball pops loose. The Orange collect the ground ball as the horn sounds, ending the first quarter of play. The Towson Tigers came to play, and this game could be very interesting. Absolutely. This is, a, this is an exciting game. It's got it all. Body contact. Super game. Casey Powell with a hat trick in the first quarter, accounting for Syracuse's scoring. The Tigers take a one-goal lead into our first break. We'll come back with the second quarter after this on Super Sports. Welcome back to the Carrier Dome, getting set for the start of the second quarter. The Towson Tigers have a one-goal edge on the Orange men in that first quarter, Dale. Casey Powell scored a hat trick, so he's off to another strong start. He is off to a strong start, and it looks like everybody's going to have to have a strong start. Towson, very, very tough today. The Tigers came to play, taking on the Orange men here in the Dome this afternoon. Very aggressive against Syracuse, and they're doing it without senior attack man Kevin Stern. Yep. He's sidelined with a right wrist injury. He'll miss the rest of this season. He suffered a wrist fracture about five minutes into a preseason game at Duke back in February, and that could have been, before the season began, a devastating blow for the Tigers. Well, as you check the ground ball, 17-10, to 10, that's, the, that's the thing we mentioned. Syracuse the leading the ground balls, but Price was brought down from a midfield, a little-used midfielder, to, to fill the void left by Sturm. So they've had to make some adjustments, and they have done it well. Syracuse on the clear. Gebhardt tosses to the near side, and Kevin Sheedy, another local product from West Genesee High School, to the near side, Casey Powell. Angles in front of the goal and scores! Number four on the day, a flag is down. That could be a late hit. Casey Powell ties the game at four. You know, if, you get, you know, if they were down by a lot, I could see why the frustration would be there. But watch Copas after he makes the goal. This is just a real nice shot. But watch him right there. Unnecessary, and now it's going to cost you a minute, and you're in the game. You don't want to give Syracuse another chance. Just a nice move by Powell. Goes stick side. There's the late hit, cross check, what have you. But it was not a, a good move. And that's the kind of thing that could fire up the Syracuse Orange man. Well, Casey Powell's, you know, he's seen that all the time, and he just got up, and uh, he's used to that. And that's not going to rattle him, but now you're going back to the face-off circle. But if you're down a man, you know, why give Syracuse any kind of advantage? So it was not a good penalty. Roy Simmons Jr. and John Desco, Although I don't along see with Laddie Horrell, that's exactly what they're talking about. There's nobody in the box oh, for Towson. He must have given him a 30-second penalty then. Discussion continues down on the field as we get set for the faceoff. If there's nobody there, then uh... the two teams battling for possession after the faceoff. The whistle, and it will be Syracuse ball. So I guess that wasn't a dumb penalty after all. 
Well, apparently it was wiped out, or I, I, I don't know. It actually came after the goal. So That's what I'm thinking, I, I'm, too. I'm confused. We'll try to get some clarification on that for you, because certainly the Syracuse coaching staff wanted that penalty to stand, although Casey Powell scored on the play. Okay, now yes. we do have yeah. clarification. Syracuse is indeed a man up. Can't see the box from here. There should be somebody in the box. He must be sitting down, so Syracuse is a man up. That's good. The Orangemen work the ball around the cage, trying to take the lead. It's 4-4. Syracuse has battled back from a 4-2 deficit to tie things up against a very aggressive Towson team. This is a rather stupid penalty for the Tigers. Syracuse trying to capitalize, and the Orangemen do. On the doorstep from the near side for Syracuse, Devin D'Arcangelo, his 10th goal of the year. Well, D'Arcangelo in on the man up as, as Kopas was down. We could not see him in the penalty box. And then obviously when they came out, we saw that they were a man down. But the uh, D'Arcangelo open all by himself, and he just plops it in right over the opposite shoulder of Horrigan, the left-hander. He goes inside on him, and he was just at point-blank range. But you know, D'Arcangelo, a guy who didn't play a lot last year, pumping in some goals this year and, and talking to the coaching staff they said when you got the Powells there on attack they get a lot of uh, attention and sometimes they forget about Dark Angelo. He's a great weapon for the Orange Men along that attack. Oh good a save. Big save by Gebhardt. Steve Price trying to score for the Tigers and Gebhardt comes through. Ball loose on the near side. Last touched by Syracuse so Towson keeps it. You're gonna have to see this one in slow motion because it was hard to see it, off his foot or off the end of his stick. Nice save by Gebhard. Six saves on the day for Gebby now in his senior season. With two bad knees, Ted, right? He's had a rocky career. He's had to battle injuries throughout. Played his high school across West Genesee for Mike Messier. He sent so many talented players to Syracuse. Excellent defense by the Orange Men. Syracuse in transition. The Orangemen will set up the offense. Syracuse a 5-4 lead. 12 and a half minutes to go until halftime. Holding out high for the Orangemen, Jeff Cordisco. He was settled in. Now the Orangemen work it behind the cage. Shot and a score on the doorstep. And another flag down. Another Syracuse player sent sprawling after the goal. And once again, it's Casey Powell, goal number five on the day. And he raises his arms in victory after absorbing that hit. If you want to dish him out and get the penalty, I'll take the hit. There it is right there. I knocked his helmet a, a bit of skill. Watch it in real time. Nice oh, hit. Man. That was a dandy. That's number 30. He's down for a minute. That's Anzalone. What is Towson thinking? Are they trying to uh, get Casey Powell injured to knock him out of the game? Unnecessary off this late hit. One minute. No fake. Time out black. And after we hear that penalty called against the Towson Tigers, Towson head coach Carl Runk calls a timeout, and he might want to tell his team you can't be doing this to Syracuse, number one, because it's it's very unsportsmanlike, but you're giving Syracuse all kinds of man-up chances. Doesn't make any sense. Well, you're right, and you know, and I can see if he's in there with the ball, then you can hit people in the cross, but when he's rid of the ball, not only is it unsportsmanlike, it certainly is something that is not smart because they're going to get a penalty time. Now, there's the shot. The, ball, the goal's already in. I mean, you know, the damage has been done, and you, you see the shot that Powell takes and everybody comes to his aid because it's similar to hockey you, you know you don't want to you don't want to do that too often you may find yourself later in the game when you're not looking for a pass over your shoulder and someone's going to take your head off and put it back in the crease Casey Powell the franchise so to speak for the Syracuse Orange men this season for the third straight year lacrosse magazines preseason player of the year and he was also named the 1997 Raymond Enters Award winner as the top player in Division I. These games are all going on today, and the teams in yellow future Syracuse opponents. And as we look at that list, a very impressive a list of teams the Orange Men will face later on this season. And don't forget, Georgetown beat them last year. So that's a... Uh, and Brown, yeah, that's right. They had a... Not their best game at playing Brown, but that happens sometimes. But they're having a good game today. Anzalone down for a minute. 
Let's see what Syracuse gets out of this one. The last time they put it in the hole. We'll see if the Orangemen can capitalize on the man up situation. Syracuse one for three today. The Orangemen have a two goal advantage. 12 minutes to go till the half. Six to four. Syracuse has the lead. We recall that Brown game. Brown really slowed things down against Syracuse in the Dome last season. Shot as Ryan Powell takes one of the few shots he's attempted in this game. He just backs out, gets back on the point. He'll just wait for him to swing the ball around, and then he's going to be able to step up, and he's got the shot from right in front of the goalie. Now the goalie's got to worry about him coming from the side. So you really try to swing them, get them looking one way, and maybe come back the other with the shot. Already 20 shots for Syracuse in the game, 17 for Towson. Threw that one away. Bad pass by the Orangemen, an unforced error, so Towson will take it. And Syracuse may see this man-up situation go by the wayside. Casey Powell riding on the clear. Syracuse is going to try to double the ball here because they are up a man. Six seconds left in the penalty. And Towson playing keep away. Oh, yeah. Looking to get that man released. And whistles everywhere failure to advance that's going to cost Towson. so Syracuse will get the ball as the penalty expires there they're even now at least according to the clock that I'm looking at Teddy so it'll be all even up it didn't cost Towson a goal little, little enmity from the fans however Syracuse fans hate that slowdown style when the orange men are in action here in the dome another whistle as the ball is battled for offsides Be Syracuse ball. I guarantee what happens is anytime they're calling offsides, the coach always says, He's right here. He's standing right in front of you. That's exactly what they did there, but he's not going to change his mind. It's really a tough call. You really have to stand out and count, and make sure that everybody is there. And the referee, that's all he's got to do, the guy in the in the penalty area. So he made the call and Syracuse will get the ball. The Orange men have it in the offensive end. Still plenty of time left to go in this first half. Nearly 11 minutes remaining on the clock. Syracuse starting to pull away from Towson. 6-4 to four lead for the Orange men. Ira Vanderpool controls. Trying to use his speed to angle in. A bounce shot wide to the near side. Syracuse backs it up. The Orange will keep it. There's a look at Ira, senior. Now 6'5", 202 pounds. He's, He's got really grown. He has grown. You're absolutely right. He's a big kid. Forced that last shot a little bit, I think, but as long as he had backup, I guess it's not a bad shot. Vanderpool, one of the tri captains for the Orange Men this season. The penalty situation in this game Towson four for four minutes, Syracuse two for two minutes. Casey Powell trying to break free and shot. That'll stay Syracuse, backed up by uh, Ryan. As uh, Casey talks, it Fox tries to go down, tries to go low. Maybe Horgan got his foot on it. At any rate, it went wide to the goal, and uh, Ryan was there to back it up. Syracuse will actually Ryan Paul will bring it in as you're looking at the thousand bench. The long sticks are in for the Tigers. Syracuse works the ball around the perimeter, controlling out high for the Orange men. Jeff Court Disco. Syracuse works it around. Ryan Powell has it on the far side to Casey. They play catch. A.C. Powell trying to spin away from his man. Darkangelo behind the cage looking for the ball. Shot down. Ryan Powell's shot knocked away by Horrigan. Syracuse nearly had the loose ball in front. Vanderpool collides with a teammate. Ball pops loose. Now it's rolling toward midfield. It'll be collected by Syracuse's Jeff Cordisco, but we've got a whistle. Now they're going to call a push. Syracuse fans, Syracuse fans on him say he tripped over his own stick. They're going right back at it. And a referee got in the way there. There's Horgan safe. We're back to uh, live action. That's Horgan, but the action's down the other end. There you go. Horgan's played well. The freshman with six saves. Syracuse comes up with the loose ball. Here come the orange men. Casey Powell oh, scores! What a day Casey Powell is having. Syracuse has a 7-4 lead. And for the first time in three shots, he didn't get hit after he shot. 
Vanderpool. Vanderpool starts it with the fast break, makes a nice pass, and there's that sidearm shot, just that low riser as the Vanderpool makes the pass. And watch, they're sinking back, sinking back. You know, you can only go back so far. Eventually, you have to make a stand. And when Paul saw the defenseman still sinking back, he took that sidearm shot. No less than six goals scored by Casey Powell in this game today, giving 18 for the season. This is only game number four, and Powell already has 18 tallies this year. And he's up. in fifth place yep. all time on Syracuse's goal scoring list. He continues to climb the charts for the Orange Men. Oh. On the doorstep, Syracuse Dandy. scores again. Devin D'Arcangelo with his second goal today. And now the Orange offense is starting to hit stride. Really nice pass from Burns. Just a, a dandy. Watch that. There's the pass. Two guys on Burns. He sees the, he senses the double team and he passes to D'Arcangelo. There it is. They came out to pick him up to double team him and he just drops it off and Burns the 6-3 sophomore out of Baldwin, New York, fed that man and D'Arcangelo up with his second. I believe his first was in an extra man situation. Syracuse controlling the faceoffs as well. Eight for 12 as the ball is placed between the sticks at midfield. Towson using a different faceoff man, Jay Berry. Oh, 64% nice coming in. Tigers quickly off the draw, trying to set up offensively, and a bad pass will slow things down for the Tigers. Syracuse very aggressive defensively. Hacking whacking going on on the far side. Long stick gets involved. Pass to the near side for Towson. Matt Clune controls. They're really spreading things out now. Towson, you notice how it was kind of packed in before? Spread out a bit. Really making the long passes. Syracuse controlling in ground balls. The Orange men very aggressive defensively today. Bounce shot wide to the near side. Towson backs it up. The Tigers will keep it offensively. Matt Kluin back there. The, the philosophy is let's spread it way out. It was before. Now they're going back to a little standard 1-4-1 one, one and getting a lot of cutters from the front of the crease. Before they had it all spread out. So you give them a lot of different looks trying to get a pass into somebody cutting on the crease. Towson hoping to open things up in front of Jason Gebhardt in the slot. Hasn't happened though. Syracuse packing it in. Kluin shoots. Gebhardt knocks it away. Towson backs it up. One of the things Klum tried to do when you, when you take him way out one on one, if you can beat him, you can make a jump and force a slide. But Sheedy was really putting the aluminum on him. He got a shot off and a nice save by Gebhardt. Tigers control offensively. Seven and a half minutes to go. Still halftime. Syracuse an eight to four lead. There's a shot. Gebhardt makes the save. Loose ball. Tigers trying to back it up. Comes to Syracuse. The Orange men. Set it up field and it's rolling into the Towson end. The Tigers will collect it again. Dave Cummings battling for the loose ball. The ball pops loose. Tigers reclaim it. Near side, Greg Stark sends too far for Clune. And it'll be Syracuse ball. John Clatzel, number six, was in. He made the pass that went a little bit awry. Syracuse changes on the fly. 5-0. Offensively and defensively, Dale. They've been scoring offensively and clamping down defensively. They have been, and they've been uh, taking advantage of things when they get them. Nice check on Vanderpool. Let's see what Towson can do in transition. All loose in midfield. I want to give Copas credit on that uh, check on Vanderpool who started this ground ball situation. Here comes Towson. Chris Anzalone carries in. And his teammate Parks tried to shoot before collecting the pass. Good point. That's like, like in football, running before you get the ball. That's exactly what happened to him. Tigers keep it, though, trying to set up offensively. Once again, they have that spread out offense. Flag down on Syracuse. Must be their offsides. Tigers have a chance. Coyone trying to push his man outside. Price controls on the near side. Josh Ruler marking him. He went out the side the box, so that'll cost him. He should have stayed in the box. Didn't get a shot off. 
Seconds, It'll be a 30-second penalty against the Orange men for an offsides call. Yeah, they're going to they're going to net uh, Matthews, John Matthews. I believe he went in on the wrong side, at, and the official was right there. He was not on side, so it will cost Syracuse. You have to have three men, and you're attacking half the field, four in the defensive half, and the man up goals. Towson is one for one, so. They're hitting a thousand. Let's see what they can do here. They got 30 seconds to put this one in. They'll need to move quickly. They work the ball around the perimeter. Syracuse in tight defensively. Here's a shot on Gebhardt. Another tremendous save by Jason Gebhardt. Loose ball comes to him. He'll start the clear. Gebhardt has been terrific this afternoon. Excellent pass up field for the Orange men. They take it into the offensive end. Syracuse a behind the back centering pass from Powell to Powell. Casey angling in. Now he'll take it behind the cage. Ducks back in front and scores! Casey Powell, seven goals this afternoon. That was a clinic. That, that was a kind of in your face, knock me down again kind of a goal. This is a, this is a great sequence. Let's see what happened here. There's the clear by Gebhard. Comes down the sideline. Ackerman gets rid of it. Now he goes to go beyond the goal after he gets the behind the back pass from his brother. There's two guys on him. Watch him. He's going to go behind the goal. Now watch. Puts on the brakes. And Gary gates it in from behind the cage. Casey Powell with his seventh goal of the day that ties his single game high for his career at Syracuse. The Orange men now a 9-4 lead. They did not get the face off because I believe they weren't out uh, on time, took too much. So we'll see, uh, Towson gets a free ball. Syracuse's offensive run continues. Nice defense. Excellent defense by the Orange men. One of the long stick defenders for Syracuse, John Glatzel, makes a big play. Trying to make up for that poor pass he made, and he did. Syracuse getting some freight, new faces in defensively. Casey Powell controls, moving in on the net. Now he'll take it behind. Looking for a cutter in front. Looking for his brother. Ryan Powell couldn't handle the pass as he was checked. Loose ball comes to Towson. Horrigan sends it upfield. Syracuse will intercept. Here come the Orange men. Horrigan better get back and goal in a hurry. Towson loves to double the ball. Coyone will take it if they let him get in that far. Left-handed shot up in the air. Rebound. Horrigan knocked it away. Ryan Powell trying to come up with the ground ball, and he does. He'll reset the Syracuse offense. Ryan Powell. Starting his rush toward the goal with a right-hand cradle. Feeds Kataya on the near side. Matt Kataya. Junior Mitty as we take a look at Syracuse's offense from up high. Kataya with a centering pass to Kayone. He winds up. Bounce shot. Knocked away by Horrigan. Rebound comes to Towson. Dangerous pass. Oh, oh. The Tigers give it away. Syracuse capitalizing on a major mistake by Towson in its own end. And the two guys who spent a lot of time playing in the backyard congratulate each other because watch this step in. Was it, I'm not sure whether it was Casey or Ryan that got it. There's the save. High one coming way out. Now they're going to pass it back to the goalie, but watch. Ryan intercepts it. Takes a shot. Yep. Ryan. A goal and an assist today. Ryan Powell making it look easy after that was given away by defender Chris Cadden of Towson. Syracuse again with offensive possession. Three minutes to go in the half. Syracuse has turned on the Jets in the second quarter. Now a 10-4 lead. Ryan Powell behind the cage. Checked aggressively by Towson. Now he's double-teamed. Tries to find Blisker. He can't catch the pass. 
Marshall Abrams keeps it in. Defensive midi. Does his job. Gets it back and they get another short stick in. Coming onto the field for Syracuse once again, John Matthews. Sends it away to the far side, John Anselone. Now Casey Powell behind the net. Syracuse spreading things out in front of the goaltender for Towson, John Horrigan. They've used some zone and man-to-man. -man. Now they're back into a man-to-man -man defense on Syracuse. A lot of them have been unsettled goals, fast breaks. Anselone with a feed for Casey Powell. Horrigan a big save. Another dangerous pass by Towson in front of the goal. This time Horrigan comes up with it. Those long stick defenders had better stop trying to feed their goalie with Syracuse players all around him. Oh, good save, good reactions by Gebhardt. Jason Gebhardt showing he hasn't fallen asleep. On the defensive end, comes up with another key save. Loose ball taken by the Orange on the far side. And Time out. A whistle. Good call. Time out called by head coach Roy Simmons Jr. Yeah, a little unsettled and they didn't like the personnel. I don't think they had out there, so they got the timeout. And they're going to set up. And we'll get a look here at some of the action that's been happening in this Towson Syracuse game. And it has been fast and furious, Ted. First, we'll take a look at Towson goaltender John Horrigan coming up with a key save on Casey Powell. And then you move back down the other side of the field. Jason Gebhardt, low hopper, great reaction time. Came up, trapped the ball, and then got it right out on a long pass. Both goalies left-handed. Kind of unusual to see that. Both goalies having good days. Horrigan made some great stops early. He's just been getting them in his face. Syracuse's defense, led by Jason Gebhardt in goal, has held Towson scoreless for the past 15 minutes of this game. And Syracuse's offense has been terrific. The Orangemen with a 10 to 4 lead. Towson has had some good scoring chances, but Gebhardt has made some excellent saves. He has, and, and the other thing is, when the action has had to go fast break, Syracuse has capitalized, and a couple of those penalties we talked about by Towson, the unnecessary roughness, cost him a goal here and a goal there. And uh, Syracuse took advantage of that, and uh, Towson has not had the ball in the Syracuse end as much as they did in the first quarter. The Syracuse women's lacrosse team off to a strong start this season. Their season will continue against the Albany Great Danes. Syracuse and Albany will battle women's lacrosse here on Super Sports on Friday, March 27th. You'll see that game at 8 p.m. So that's good athletes on that, that girls, the women's team. Yes. We did a game uh, just uh, some, they play kind of like the guys. The rules don't let them play that well but in terms of the aggressiveness, but they were all over the ball. We re I really enjoyed doing the game. Syracuse has kept the pressure on with 30 shots on goal already and a six goal lead, less than two minutes to go till halftime. The Orange men had been down four to two. They've scored eight unanswered goals since then. Ira Vanderpool controls on the far side for the Orange men after the timeout. Syracuse works it around. Casey Powell holds behind the cage. Centering pass. Ball loose on the deck, and it's taken by Towson. Hustling up the near side for the Tigers, Chris Anzalone. Sends ahead for Matt Kloon. Towson switching up. Friswell. Making sure they get everybody in that they want. Now Greg Franzen on the field. Thousand working very slowly. Kind of taking the last possession. shot here, I think, Ted. I think you might be right. Try to slow down Syracuse. And now they have their full complement of middies on the field. Clune controls are asked by one of the Syracuse close defenders, Kevin Sheedy. We have a whistle. Yep. And it'll be Syracuse ball. Interference moving pick. If you're a basketball aficionado, they uh, got caught. So Syracuse will get the ball. And we'll see if the Orange men can uncork a final shot before halftime. Syracuse comfortably in command. A six-goal lead for the Orange. Up the near sideline for Syracuse, John Matthews. Lots of time. Still 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Ryan Powell has it behind the goal. Down to 10 seconds remaining in the half. Casey Powell spins. Oregon, a big save. Down to three seconds. Oregon. Carries the ball away from his goal as time runs out in the first half. 
and the Orange men leave the field in the Carrier Dome to a standing ovation. Eight unanswered goals for the Orange men. They're in great shape. Great crowd. They stood up and applauded. They, they understand what an effort they're seeing here out of the Orange men. Despite Towson's struggles in that second quarter, they're only down by six as Syracuse held Towson off the board in the second quarter of play. We are at halftime. The Orange men lead Towson 10 to four. Welcome back to the Carrier Dome. We are getting set for the start of the third quarter. The Syracuse Orange men have a 10 to four lead on Towson after holding the Tigers scoreless in the second quarter of play. And Dale, in that first quarter, the Tigers came out great guns. They controlled the play, but then Syracuse took over in the second quarter to take that six goal lead at the half. They really dominated. They got great work out of their attack, uh, and they've just been able to do with the Powell brothers. Casey's just been, as advertised, there's a good shot right there. That was a goal from a double hand backhand shot. And now you're going to get another interception here, and Ryan puts it down for a goal. So they got two easy goals there on the attack, but boy, both guys are playing very, very well today. Both goalies have been challenged many, many times. Each have made terrific saves. Both guys left-handers, and uh, you're going to get a look at, at uh, Horrigan from uh, Towson. In second, let's take a look at uh, Gebhardt right now. Gebhardt, nice save, ball down. Thing is, both guys are left-handed. Now you're going to get looking at Horrigan. Watch this shot. Comes high. Nice save. He's only a freshman. It's tough. Last year he was playing high school lacrosse. Now he's playing against the best team in the country. Let's take a look at the stats. Syracuse up by the shots, 31-20. 10-10 on the save department. Ground ball, Syracuse up by nine. Face-offs is Syracuse kind of dominating there. Uh, clears pretty even. And man-up goals, Syracuse one out of four. And uh, Towson one out of two. They're taking some shots at Casey Paul. And, uh, and they have given them some man-up situations that perhaps they shouldn't have. At any rate, uh, Syracuse is going to come out and play in the second half. Hopefully, if your coach, the Syracuse coaching staff, the way he did in the first, if he does, it could be a long game for Towson. 12 shots, 7 goals, just amazing. And normally, Casey Powell's, you know, Teddy, his, uh, his percentage isn't usually that high. 7 to 12, that's good in any sport. I think any professional or or college coach would take that if a player can go seven for 12 on shots as we get set to begin the third quarter here in the Carrier Dome on the campus of Syracuse University the home opener for the three and oh number one ranked Syracuse Orange men they're off to a terrific start this season and after a stellar play in the second quarter they have a six goal lead on the Towson Tigers off the face off ball loose as it rolls into the Syracuse end We'll see how aggressive the Tigers come out here in the third quarter of play. They have to stop the bleeding. Syracuse has scored eight unanswered goals to take a 10-4 lead. Syracuse had a little assignment problem there. They left a guy all alone behind the goal, but they've, uh, they've solved that problem as uh, Towson gets their offensive unit in. Gets the face-off guys out. Tigers trying to set up in front. Greg Franzen, who scored earlier in the game, controls top of the box. He's being pushed outside by Syracuse's defense. And now the Tigers working around on the far side. Angling in for the Tigers, Matt Kloon. There's a shot high over the cage. Gebhardt deflected it. That came from Steve Price, leading goal scorer for the Tigers this season. Towson keeps it in the offensive nice end goal. and on the doorstep. The Tigers convert. Todd Paradise, very tough to defend that. Absolutely. He just brings it around from behind the goal, and he goes low with the shot. Right there, you see that? Yep. McCartan was on him, I believe, and he just took a low angle and just beats Gebhardt on the stick side. New goalie in for Towson, by the way, as you look at Paradise. Uh, they put number 24 in uh, for uh, its Champney 4,000. Right now, Syracuse has lost two face-offs in a row to start this third quarter. And they are up by five, but, you know, six, when we started, they're up by six. It's not a big lead, as you had said, Ted. It can come back very quickly. It starts with the face-off, and if you can dominate the face-offs, you can get some points, and that's exactly what Towson's done with the first two face-offs. And very importantly for the Tigers, they scored the first goal of the second half to make it a five-goal game. And Syracuse's string of eight unanswered goals is snapped. First time they've scored in 18 minutes of lacrosse this afternoon in the Dome. 
Tigers have it in the offensive end. Jeff Champney is the new goalkeeper for the Tigers. We'll get a look at him when Syracuse heads his way. And now the Tigers trying to keep the pressure on Jason Gebhardt. Greg Franzen controls near side, being pushed away from the cage by the Syracuse defense. Chris Criswell controls behind the goal. Sowering pass in front. Clune trying to spin away from a double team. Can't do it. Lost the ball. Comes to Josh Rule of the Orange Men. There's that six, six guy. What an athlete. He runs so well. And the long sticks control the play. Now it comes to Ira Vanterpool on the near side. Long sticks head off the field. As we mentioned before, the new goalie is also a freshman as Vanderpool gets a break. Sowering pass, shot wide of the cage. That shot came from the cross of Devin D'Arcangelo. And we'll take a look at the new goaltender for the Towson Tigers, Jeff Champney, a freshman, and a close-up view of Jeff Champney getting beaten. The Orange Men reclaim their six-goal lead. It's 11-5. 5'11", 165 pound champion, as we said, also a freshman out of Maryland. He just getting his just getting his relationship to the pipe set, and my gracious, what happened? Casey Powell puts in number eight. Not an enviable position to be in. And I don't know why they took. Maybe they didn't want Horgan to get shell shocked, but I thought he was doing a very good job in there. Maybe they want both guys to play. So right there, he got beat early as Syracuse had a little problem. They get the face off. They have to. Spent some time getting it out and clear it. They got about six more seconds. I would agree with the point you just made, Dale. Both goalies have played for Taos in this season in the different games the Tigers played coming in. But I thought Horrigan played very well in that first half. There were some uh, times where he had uh, very little chance to come up with the save. Physical battle for the ball between Syracuse and Towson. Two Syracuse players collide. Ira Vanderpool tosses it across, and a flag comes down. We'll see what the officials decide to do with this. That's a trip. So he's going to go out. Let's see what else we got. You're really not supposed to throw your stick, regardless if you're hurt, if you if you if you're disgusted. So I think that uh, Vanderpool maybe is going to come out. So 44 and a white, 44 white technical foul, 30 seconds illegal procedure through his stick. And that's exactly what happened. I used to be an official. <laughs> so Vanderpool is off for 30 seconds, and Towson has a man up for the next half minute. Ira Vanderpool, one of the senior tri captains for the Syracuse Orange Men. The Tigers one for two on the power play this afternoon. Man up situation as they work it around. Shot. High over the cage. Tigers back it up. They're still down six. Each team has scored once here in the third quarter. The Orange men lead 11 to 5. Thousands Greg Stark, one of the key components on the man up for the Tigers. Big situation for Towson. They need a goal. Here's a shot. Score. Five hole. Matt Clune fires a whistling shot between the legs of Jason Gebhardt. That makes it an 11 to 6 game. Tigers staying close. Ackerman made a slide. Watch 26. Made a slide, but he had right there, right between the legs. He had a good angle, and he just knew exactly when to throw. Ackerman just a second late, but that's the whole point in extra man. You've got an extra guy out there, and you whip the ball around. You just need just that little bit of space, and that's exactly what Towson did. And Got the uh, extra goal. Syracuse has controlled the faceoffs, 12 of 17. This time, the loose ball pops to the Towson Tigers and Tim Parks. I think they have lost the last three, if I'm not incorrect. So now they got a man open down the slot, a big defenseman. Oh, he misses the ball. Rolls toward midfield. Both teams battling for the ground ball comes to Syracuse and Matt Safarelli. The Orange in transition. Bounce shot high over the goal. Both teams racing for it and it will go to the Tigers. Goalie got out, did a good job. You know what, Syracuse thinks it's their ball. And it's not. Syracuse with 35 shots in this game, 24 for the Tigers. And Towson will work the clear from its own end. 
John Campbell on the near side, starting defenseman for the Tigers. Both teams very successful clearing the ball out of their own ends this afternoon. Well, they just got on sides. Thousand in transition. One stick lost it. Chris Anzalone couldn't keep it. Nice Comes job. Comes to Syracuse. Oh, nice. Boy, a bad pass. Marshall Abrams threw it too high for Jason Gebhardt. He made a nice job knocking the ball out, passed it to himself, and picked it up. But when he tried to pass it back to the goal, he went too high. So he made a good play and a bad play in a space of about three seconds. And that was a turnover that evened it up at 14 apiece. Abrams usually very good in the loose ball situations. 16 ground balls entering today's game. That led the Orange men coming in. Jason Deniker had 14 for Syracuse. Two leading ground ball getters for the Orange. Deniker being the faceoff guy, he's going to have that opportunity. Syracuse pops the ball up. Nice pass. The Orange men in transition after a fine defensive stop. Ryan Powell controls on the near side as Syracuse switches up. Yeah, they're going to double him until they get people in there. Ryan trying to beat his man. Centering pass beyond the reach of a cutter toward the goal. That was Devin D'Arcangelo. You can see why well, you have to be in good shape to play this game. I'm only a defensive guy. Yeah, well, we don't have time to get you out of there, so now you're an offensive guy. You know, they've been having a little problem. Both teams slipping occasionally on this surface. There's Coyone. Showing his speed racing in. Feet on the near side. Ryan Powell, oh. tic-tac-toe. Goal for the Orange. Number nine today for Casey Powell. With some help from his friends. What a great pass, but the touch on the ball. See how long it stays in Powell's stick after he gets it. Coyone starts the whole thing with a great fast break, a no-look pass. Here's a left-handed assist from his brother. That ball was not in his stick for more than a half a second before it was in the net, in the cage, as he passes over in just a quick stick. And that'll tie the record for the most goals in one game, I believe is his numeral namesake, right? Gary Gate. Nine goals for Casey Powell today and a lot of time to break that record. The Carthage connection, Ryan Powell and Casey Powell. A whistle and one of the Syracuse players down in a heap. That's Matt Alexander. Yeah, defensive midi and he's a, a good one and he is down. There's been a lot of uh, guys crashing into their own teammates also. I've seen it a couple times. Let's see if it happened here. That's, yeah. That's what happened. The old shoulder to the head. Alexander still down. Matt Alexander, another local product. 6'2", 166 pounds. Played his high school across at West Genesee, as did teammates Harvey Sacron, Jason Gebhardt, Kevin Sheedy, Danny Stesson as well. And you're going to see the, the slip there. As I said, there's been some problem with footing, but Coyone starts it with a fast break. He's going to hit Powell 2, who hits Powell 1, who puts it in the cage and ties the goal. So I should say ties with the ninth goal, the most number of goals in the game. Gary Gate, also number 22, the guy who did it first. Matt Alexander walking off the field with some help from Syracuse's trainers. Seems a bit groggy, and we'll see if he returns to this afternoon's game. The Orange men with a six-goal lead on the Towson Tigers. It's 12 to six. It was 10 to four at the half. Each team has scored twice. Bad penalty against the Towson Tigers as they yield possession. Syracuse will take it. They were in their own end, got it out, and went back on the pass, so it gives possession immediately to Syracuse. Orange setting up offensively and with nobody home, a bounce shot and a goal. Flag is down on the play. Tim Glisker scoring for the Orange men. And I believe that goal will stand. They, they had a foul. They came out of the box. A guy from Towson pushed somebody from Syracuse and they threw the flag and then Glisker made it a moot point because it was going to be a 30-second job. And Glisker, first goal of the season, the football player who's a linebacker, Jumps in goal number 13 for Syracuse, and Blisker, just like that, gets his first goal of the season. Syracuse has won 13 of the 19 faceoffs this afternoon. Casey Powell 
has tied the record of nine goals in a single game for the Orange Men. Back in 1988, Gary Gates scored nine against Navy in an NCAA game, and Greg Tarbell scored nine in 1982 against Bucknell. Shot, Gebhardt gets a piece of it, chasing down the loose ball. Great, great body position. That's called get your can and put it in front of the guy who's trying to get it and make sure he doesn't because when the ball goes out of bounds, it's mine. Watch what he does. Look at this. That's a smart goalie. Syracuse now clearing. Excellent lead feed to midfield. The Orange men in transition. Shot and a score. That was pretty. Jeff Cordisco scores his first goal of the season for the Orange. He didn't even have to cock that one. He just, he just threw it while he was running. And that's a pretty way to score a goal. Just still in full stride. He goes stick side and he beats Champney. The other freshman goalie who is not having the day that Horrigan had, and as we speak, they're going to send Horrigan back in. So it's an eight goal lead now for Syracuse. 14 6 as Champney's out and Horrigan's in. And we'll see if Horrigan is just as sharp as he was in that first half after sitting out the first portion of this third quarter. Ground ball taken by the Tigers after the faceoff. Towson with a chance, an unsettled situation. High riser wide of the cage to the near side, and Towson will keep it. John Horrigan has returned for the Towson Tigers. Played well in that first half, but Carl Runt decided to go with Jeff Champney to start the third quarter, and Syracuse took advantage. Yes, they did. 14 to 6, the Orangemen have the lead midway through our third quarter. Angling in for Towson. Greg Franzen, his shot bounces wide. Tigers will keep it offensively. Franzen scored earlier in the game, the senior from Wontaw, New York. Moving the ball way outside, trying to, again, spread it out. They're going to crowd up the crease again. But they got two guys way out on top, pass back inside, and then they're going to reset. Syracuse's big, long stick defenders have played well. Josh Rule and Chris McCartan pushing Towson's offensive players away from the box. And Sheedy right there has also played well. 25. They put the ball on the ground. Let's see who comes up with it. Towson does. Play. Good play by the Tigers to keep it alive. Shot, another save by Gebhardt. Todd Paradise tried to score. Gebhardt equal to the task. Ball loose behind the goal. Two teams battling for the ball. And it's scooped up by Towson's Chris Criswell. Tigers will reset. High rising shot over the cage. Unleashed by Todd Paradise. Tigers keep it again. They are uh, getting some work out of the defense. Safarelli, short stick defensive mini in there, 27. You see him right there. They have played well, extremely well defensively. Most of the situations have been unsettled situations. Syracuse, when they've had to set up and play defense, have done extremely well. And Gebhardt has made some brilliant saves. Yep, you're right, he has. Franzen with a shot across the crease and rolls out of bounds. Towson will retain possession. Well, that, you know, that's a great definition of a good team. Well, they got a good defense and they got a good goalie. And when they do get by the defense, the goalie usually stops them. And that's what Syracuse has, uh, has offered today to Towson. They have done a very good job defensively. And you also want to mention the offense, when they keep the ball, it doesn't allow Towson to come down and take that many shots. This has been a long offensive possession for the Tigers. They've had a few shots on goal, but they haven't scored. Towson works the ball around the outside. Just going to say, they're really, anytime they get out there, they will put the titanium, those sticks on him, and then another down. Loose ball taken by the Tigers. And the shot is Cruz. Gets by Jason Gebhardt. Keith Smith breaking in all alone tallies for the Tigers to make it 14 to 7 Syracuse still on top. One of the things I like about Gebhardt despite the fact he's going to get beat here as they score on him from about six yards away not his fault. He very seldom shows any emotion um, which is great. The goalie especially cannot 
you know, if you kick the ball or you, you show any kind of emotion, they know they got you a little bit. And he always has pretty been the same no matter what happens. There's Smith. He did get clocked after he scored, but uh, he's brought them within seven. This one could get interesting down the stretch. Syracuse has won 14 of the 21 draws. The Orange men still in command in this game, but you never know. A lot of time left to go in the third quarter, and then, of course, a full fourth quarter to play. Violation against the Orange, so the Tigers take the faceoff. Jay Enderoff in for Syracuse, number 47, a freshman out of Fayetteville Manley's high school. Big stick. Ryan Lakowitz drops it off for Greg Stark, and he leaves the field, replaced by Dave Cummings. Cummings takes it out high, now trying to move into the box. Vanderpool will check in, gets it away to the far side, and Matt Plume. Plume behind the cage for Spencer Ford. Ford looking for a cutter in front. Nobody home, so he'll take it out himself. Ball down. Lost the ball. Ground ball taken by Syracuse, and Tim Burns loses his man at midfield. Burns heading to the offensive end. Burns with a bounce shot. Horrigan knocks it aside. Loose. Looks like the Tigers will take it. Probably should have either settled it down or tried to pass that one off. He didn't have much of an angle, and Horrigan, as you mentioned, appears to be as hot as he was in the first half. Horrigan did a good job to cut down the angle with Burns bearing down on him. Towson resets the offense, trailing by seven. It's 14 to seven, Syracuse. 4:05 left to play. Nice third quarter. check by Sheedy. Another big play by Sheedy. Ball rolls out of bounds. Tigers will keep it. Syracuse's long stick defenders have really impressed me today. Yes, yeah, Safarelli, all those guys have been in and done a nice job. And watch now, Sheedy. He going to put the titanium, knocks the ball out. It's off his foot. It was a good call by the official. He thought it was off the guy from Towson. He didn't try to save it in. But Sheedy did a nice job of stripping him. Sheedy, the mighty might of that Syracuse close defense. He's 6-1. He's surrounded by Chris McCartan, who's also 6-1, 203. And big Josh Rule, 6-6, 233. Syracuse packing in defensively as the Tigers work it around. He Ball have loose much, in the corner. He didn't have much room to work there. I was just going to say, I didn't know. That'll be a push. And that is indeed the call. And it will go against Tim Burns of the Orange. Yeah, there's uh, right there. Burns has also played very well now that we're not on that push, but <laughs> in general has played very well. Loose ball push. Tigers ball. Clune trying to break free. Harassed by Soffarelli, who's played well on close defense. Taken away by the Orange. A steal for Syracuse. Pass ahead for the Orange. Matt Alexander, or rather Devin D'Arcangelo, controls for the Orange men. The play made initially by Tom Nee yep. of Syracuse. Just checking my roster there. I said they were putting some people in defensively. That was Nee. Syracuse's offense setting up. The Orange taking some time off the clock here late in the third quarter of play. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. They don't want to, let's not get into a run and gun and let you guys back in the game here. We'll take our time. And Nia is a, a freshman, by the way. Centering pass in front. Loose on the doorstep. Both teams battling for the loose ball now. Syracuse comes up with it. And a rolling pass beyond the reach of Ryan Powell, so the Tigers will take it. Get, Syracuse getting a lot of people in the game uh, defensively. Ackerman and uh, Safarelli and Dan Stesson, number 29. Stesson out of uh, Syracuse, West Genesee High School. Towson <laughs> staying on side. <laughs> well, he didn't have to. He, he, he did the right thing. He made sure he didn't go off sides, but uh, they were covered. Tigers with possession in the offensive end. Chris Criswell sends it far side for Matt Kloon. Kloon, senior attack man from Davidsonville, Maryland. Most of the players on this Towson roster are from Maryland. Towson located just outside of Baltimore. 
Tigers trail Syracuse by seven, less than two minutes to go in the third quarter. Bounce shot and a score for the Tigers. Todd Paradise picks up an important goal for the Tigers. It's 14-8 Syracuse. And Gebhardt showing in the past couple of minutes he's mortal. Well, they got a, ju a jump on Safarelli, and you're right. I, I think Gebhardt probably feels that he, he should have been able to stop that one. But once again, he doesn't show any emotion. Uh, they did let him get a shot off, but he could have tracked it. He saw it pretty well, but that happens. If you hold somebody to under uh, 10 goals or double figures, you're doing well. Right now, he's held them to eight at this point. And of course, you've done well if you win, so. Tigers have done a good job on the faceoffs here in the third quarter. Another bounce shot and a score for Towson. Tim Parks. That makes it 14 to 9. And Jason Gebhardt has to feel a little bit shell shocked right now. Yep. Watch him after the goal, though. Now this is kind of a this is a tough one because you should see it all the way, and he loses it. Just kind of keeping it within himself. Parks one and one on the afternoon. 14 to 9. Faceoff coming up here, 14-9. Right there, they're kind of creeping back into it faceoff-wise. So the scoring and the faceoffs are exact, 14-9 in favor of the Orange men. Ball loose on the deck, Towson trying to come up with it. Ball rolls out of bounds, last touch by the Tigers, so Syracuse will have it. Towson's faceoff man. Ryan Lakowicz, number 20, has done a very good job here in the third quarter of triggering that offense for the Tigers as he comes off the field. Yeah, Deneker has uh, got the last one, but, you know, they've, they've had pretty good luck with the faceoffs, and you can control the faceoff. Obviously, you can control the game, and they've gotten a couple of fairly easy goals off of Syracuse, so they are back in it, down by five. Casey Powell with nine goals today. That ties the Syracuse record. Trying to break it. He no. shoots. Outside. Hit the side of the cage. Oregon comes up with the ground ball. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Oregon well away from the zone net. Trying to start the clear. Dancing along that near sideline. <laughs> Towson called a timeout. You don't want your goalie down there with the ball, but Oregon's trying to fire everybody up, and he has done just that with that little sachet down the sideline. You don't want to dispute the strategy of head coach Carl Runk, who's led his team to so many victories through the years, but you start to think maybe he should have left Oregon in to start the third quarter. Towson still within striking distance at that point. Well, you could tell after after two or three goals uh, that they got on uh, on the, their backup that uh, Oregon really is the guy, at least today, they felt much more comfortable with, and he is the guy that fired him up. Let's check the, the faceoff coming out. Deneker does not get this one, and Towson starts. And we'll pick this up with that pass behind and that easy goal that we talked about from Parks. Ryan Lakowitz, the faceoff man, triggering that last goal by the Tigers. And the shots for the game, quarter by quarter, very even in the first. Syracuse controlled the play in the second quarter. Towson didn't even score in the second quarter of play. The Tigers have come back in the third quarter out shooting Syracuse. The Orange still have the edge 40 to 33 for the game. Yeah, they have, uh, I don't want to say a letdown, but Syracuse with that seven goal lead, I, I don't think they felt as compelled to, uh, to perhaps uh, come out and play as hard as they did in the first half. But I'll tell you what, the Horrigan has picked up this, uh, this Towson State team. Doing his best to fire up his teammates. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Roy Simmons Jr.'s Orange men still with a five-goal advantage. Towson has the ball, though, and the Tigers may hold for the final shot of the quarter. Towson works the ball around the outside. Now it comes top of the box. Paradise was open, passed off, and the shot is wide of the net. Towson there to back it up. Tigers will keep it with 29 seconds to go in the quarter. Syracuse running his zone on this little inbounds. just to give a little different look to the Tigers. Criswell lost the pass from Paradise. 
Loose ball in the slot. Syracuse had a stick on it. The Orange men trying to come up with the loose ball. Down to 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Paradise recovers for the Tigers. He has to hurry. Beats one man. Bounce shot wide of the net. Towson backs it up. Tigers keep it with three seconds remaining in the third quarter. Now they want to get a man in the ball. They, were, they had a zone and they said, pick up the man. You don't want, you got three seconds. He can sprint in and, and just come in unmolested from the back. It doesn't happen. It's going to be a fourth quarter to remember, I think, as Towson perhaps won the third quarter. Still down by five. Syracuse broke up that final centering pass of the third quarter and don't go anywhere because as Dale said things will get interesting in the fourth quarter. The Orange men have a five goal lead right here on Super Sports. Welcome back to the Carrier Dome on the SU Hill. The Orange men in their home opener for 1998. Lee Towson 14-9 in the third quarter, though, Dale. Towson outscored Syracuse 5-4. Paradise comes back. He beats Safarelli, and then he finally beats Gebhardt. And that gave a lot of life, I think, to the Towson team. And, and we also mentioned, and I think you did too, the goalie situation. Horgan back in, really fired him up. At one point, brought the ball down on a clear, got all the way down, and uh, went around patting everybody in the back. Gebhardt, 12 saves, has played very, very well. I think he probably feels those last two goals. He'd like to have a little, another chance at him. He won't, and Syracuse has got a tough fourth quarter ahead of him. John Horgan, the keeper for Towson, 11 saves in this game, and he missed the first part of the third quarter when Syracuse extended its lead, but now the Tigers are coming back. They've brought it to within five. Another face-off for Syracuse. Vanderpool on a wing. Vanderpool hustling in with a right-hand cradle. Very good speed for Ira Vanderpool, now a senior now from Norwalk, Connecticut. He holds as Syracuse changes up at midfield. Coyone back onto the turf. Ryan Powell controls for the Orange men. Finds Coyone near side. Outside the box. Now brings it out high. Drops it off for Vanderpool. Towson's sticking with this man to man. And then slide and jump. Kataya oh. with a whistler. A high shot over the shoulder of Horrigan. That makes it a six goal lead again. It's 15 9 Orange men. I, you know, I thought Horgan was really tough high. I would have told Kutaya maybe he should be down low, but watch what Kutaya does. Takes that right-hand shot and takes it right up over his head, right in the middle, over the head of Horrigan, and that gives Syracuse another six goal lead. Kutaya has a nice time to come up with a goal to start the fourth quarter. Don't look now, but Matt Kutaya, the junior from Homer, has 10 goals this season. Syracuse with 16 out of 25 face-offs today. That's been a key. This one goes to Towson, though. Tigers moving in quickly. Syracuse trying to get back defensively. They can't do it in time. The Tigers light the lamp. Steve Price cuts it to a five-goal lead again. Price, it's a classic example of when you lose the faceoff and you have a fast break out of it, it's really a tough, unsettled situation. And when they slide, defense a little bit confused, trying to slide and pick up. Already got the guy in the hole. Who's got the guy in the wing? Then they slide over. They leave Price open just momentarily. And he takes a good, hard shot. And Price comes up with goal number 13 of the season. And he gets Towson back within five. And another faceoff being contested. Towson gets it momentarily. Ball loose now. Long stick defender for Syracuse comes up with it. Gebhardt sends it away toward midfield, and Syracuse could grab momentum again. Lisker gets it away for Casey Powell, and uh, after the pass was taken by the Syracuse player who's flattened, looks like Ryan Powell in there. He tried to shoot, but didn't have full control of the ball. And now after a scrum, flags are down, and by the reaction of the goaltender for Towson, this will go against Syracuse. Yeah, the ball is going to be down. Powell takes kind of a, a shot with a stick from 22. And then he's got his arm underneath the stick, and then he, he pulled it up. That's uh, 22. That's Caden, the defenseman. So that will be uh, Ryan Powell out for one minute. Unnecessary roughness. So Ryan Powell retaliating after absorbing that hit from the Towson defender, Caden, comes off. And he will take a seat in the penalty box. Syracuse kind of gathering around Gebhardt down there as they go into this man down situation. That's a good look at Powell. 
Not a particularly wise penalty either. No. Man up for Towson. The Tigers coming back in this game are within five with a lot of time left to go in the fourth quarter. 13 and a half minutes. A 15 to 10 lead for the Orange Men. A key man up situation for Towson. One for three today so far. Oh, ball lost momentarily. Nice job. Who's that, Carton? Marshall Abrams. Abrams, you're right, yes. Super job. Excellent play by Marshall Abrams. One of the biggest plays of the game. And with a terrific lead pass to another long stick, Josh Rule. Here come the Orange men. Rule takes it behind the net. His pass intended for Casey Powell is high. And what can you say about that? Rule is such a tremendous defender, but with that long stick, sometimes it's tough to make those crisp passes. You're absolutely right. And when you're making the long one, it's easy. When you're trying to make the short one, it makes it a little harder. Watch the steal here by Abrams. Ball down. Just clap, smack. Give me the ball. Knocks it back to himself, then finally controlled it. Made the long pass. They eventually lost it as Rule, as you said, not able to make the good pass with the long stick. Syracuse needs a stop defensively again. They're even now. Sometimes this is a difficult time because you haven't picked up the right men yet. Well, that's a bad pass. So they are even. They throw it away, Ted. Syracuse gets a chance to come back. Key mistake by the Tigers as head coach Carl Runk watches that man-up situation go by the boards. Syracuse controls in its own end, and the Orange will start the clear with a five-goal lead. Still plenty of time left to go in the fourth quarter. The Orange men rank number one in the nation this week, playing their home opener after three wins on the road to start the season. Towson has made 23 turnovers, Syracuse with 19. So I'll it tell hasn't you. been a, a right. perfectly played game. No, absolutely not. And I'll tell you, they made a nice grab on that pass at midfield. Was that Kutaya? Really was a poor pass, and he went about six feet in the air to grab it. Ira Vanderpool holds high. They've had some pass. problems, yes. They've had three or four bad passes. Kutaya saved him on the last one. He really skied for it, but they still throw it away, and that's uh, Coach Simmons has his hat off for a minute. I, I think he's a little concerned about the, the passing. I was thinking the same thing. You hardly ever see that. Slugger taking his hat off and right. rubbing his brow a bit on the Syracuse sideline. There he is, and he put the hat quickly back on top of his head. Syracuse head coach Roy Simmons Jr. Six national championships as head coach of the Orange Men. Aggressive ride by the Orange. Syracuse trying to take it away. Tim Glisker, the football player, applying some pressure. The Tigers get it away from their own goal. Criswell did a nice job of saving that one for Towson. And he might have hurt us, but he went down hard. Criswell, super job. We'll watch Criswell hit the deck here. Right, watch him do this little split like, yeah, just like James Brown in a cold sweat. Ooh. <laughs> Good athlete. Get that, get that, get that. Surprised he isn't uh, limping a little bit more Absolutely. pronounced after that split. Towson head coach Carl Runk calls a timeout to talk with his team. A key stretch in this game. 11.38 left to go in the fourth quarter, and the Orange men have a five-goal lead. As we said a moment ago, Syracuse number one in the nation this week, followed by Maryland off to a terrific start. Then Virginia, another ACC team. Princeton, Duke, the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays, Syracuse won at Homewood Field last week. 14 to 13 for the first time since 1990. Syracuse winning down there. Then Loyola, Georgetown, North Carolina, and UMass is always a pretty uh, impressive group of schools. Yeah, absolutely. And Syracuse plays them all. They'll play anybody, anytime. And uh, he has a tough schedule. And this Towson team ranked 18th. When you're playing number one, uh, that always seems to bring the best. I mean, let's check the scoring out. You can see right here uh, Towson uh, coming alive in that third quarter, outscoring Syracuse 5-4. Syracuse, of course, dominating the second with seven to nothing, but it's 15 to 10. Not a lot of uh, goals to make up it. They got a lot of time almost the whole fourth quarter, about 11 and a half minutes of it. You take away that second quarter, and Syracuse has been outplayed by Towson. The Orangemen played so well in that second quarter on both ends of the field, they were able to build that big lead. Well, and they also, in, in the last three times, they've made bad passes, which is something uncharacteristic, but uh, it's exactly what can hurt you in a game like this. More than 5,000 fans here for Syracuse's home opener. 5,216 in the dome. 
to watch the Orange Men battle the Towson Tigers. High shot right into the cross of Jason Gebhardt, and he alertly gets it ahead to Marshall Abrams. Syracuse in transition. Abrams lost his man. On the doorstep, he feeds Dark Angelo, who scores again from the near side, even with the cage. We saw him do that in the first half. His goal gives the Orange men a six-goal lead again. we got to give a lot of credit to Marshall Abrams, the kid out of Lafayette. Nice job, and he didn't hog the shot. You know, when those defensive guys get down there, lots of times they say, oh, man, I'm right in front. I should really crank this. But he does. He draws the man. What a super job by Abrams. He drew his man out, dropped it off to Dark Angelo, who finished it off 16-10. But Marshall Abrams, super assist on that. Excellent touch on that pass. As we said a couple minutes back, it's tough to make those crisp, sharp passes with the long stick, but Abrams did it that time. Face-off controlled by the Orange Man, Casey Powell, oh, with a oh. chance to break the record. Beats two men, beats three, beats four, shoots wide. Horrigan may have knocked that one aside. Casey Powell with nine goals on the day, and if that was number 10, would have been a highlight for the ages. You know, it's funny. The longer he's not taken or he doesn't drop the ball, more and more people pick him up. If he had a minute, there'd be 11 guys chasing <laughs> him around the field. Syracuse controls in the offensive end. Plenty of time left to go in the fourth quarter for Towson, but they need some defensive stops. Syracuse has a six-goal lead. D'Arcangelo near side. Gets it off to Casey Powell. Ryan and Casey Powell play catch. Dark Angelo. He sends it back out high for Kataya. I think Syracuse would just like to take some time off the clock also. Oh, not, not a good pass. Intercepted by the Towson Tigers and a strong defensive play by Jack Kopis. Oh. Flattened, but he gets it away. Ball loose comes to Gebhardt. And the Orange men working in transition after another skillful pass by Jason Gebhardt. Centering pass, Casey Powell can't connect with that ball. Well, this will be interesting. Now that can call a push. And it will be Towson ball. You know, in lacrosse, you can almost sense it's like a receiver going out in slow motion, going up, and everybody knows he's going to get hit. Same thing there. I knew that was going to happen. Right here. That's big time hit. <laughs> big time audio. Nice pickup with the parabolic. Devin Darkangelo flattening the Towson Tiger. Towson with the ball. Putting the pressure on in the Syracuse end. Centering pass out high and a big goal scored by the Tigers. That one comes from Towson's Greg Stark. And it's 16 to 11. The Tigers won't go home. No, they will not. And they get the ball out. And watch. They don't, they slide out. I'm just going to see it at the end there. He has too much time and, and too much opportunity to crank. And when you have that much time, you really have to get on a guy like that. Stark only with his fourth goal of the season, but perhaps one of his most important as he brings Towson to within five. A lot of time left to go in the fourth quarter of play. Syracuse clinging to a five-goal lead. The Orange men have won 17 of 28 draws. Towson has been tough in the face-off circle here in the second half. Loose ball taken by the Orange men. A key get for Syracuse and Jason Deneker. Deneker's been controlling the draw, and then the, the wings have been coming in and helping him out. Oh, Powell's going to watch out. Oh, uh, he's done that twice now. He kind of forced that pass. The goalie just was in the way. Risky pass across the crease taken by Horrigan, and he triggers it for the Tigers now in the offensive end. Syracuse still aggressive defensively, showing their terrific stamina, the defensive players for the Orange men. If they come to within four, you're going you're gonna to see a, a, a Towson team really rejuvenated. Let's see if they get a chance. Very important possession here for the Towson Tigers. Spreading it way out. Trying to establish a cutter in the slot area. And if you get beat way out like this, now somebody's got to slide. And they do, and Syracuse gets it. But that's what that's the offensive strategy. And there's a penalty. Syracuse got to get it in and keep it in the box. Let's see what the Orange men do. Stark took the shot, lost the handle. Syracuse comes up with the loose ball. Ryan Powell trying to feed 
Devin D'Arcangelo. The Orange men lose possession. And here's the whistle. It's going to be able to check up on the head, I think. Jimmy O'Hara made the call. So it will be uh, a minute. Here's the watch the, the check yeah, right up on the head. You can't do that. So, but one of the things Syracuse has been doing and Horgan's been doing, they've been forcing the uh, cross cage uh, feeds, and he's been knocking them down or saving them. And Price is the man who's who committed the penalty, so he will be down. He's had a good game. The guy we featured at the beginning is the man who was a little used. Mitty came down playing attack now and doing a good job for Towson. Leading goal scorer for the Tigers. Syracuse gets a key insurance goal on the doorstep right in front. Matt Kataya, who's had another big day for the Orange men. What a great play that was. Caden, the defenseman, watch 22. See him sitting right there, and now he tries to slide back. They just made a great pass. I don't think they expected that pass to be cut back against the grain so quickly, and Kataya nailed his second. His 11th goal of the season. Junior from Homer. Played his high school across down there as well. Syracuse winning 18 faceoffs to Towson's 11. And once again, an important draw at midfield as the Tigers try to come from behind. This one is taken by Towson and Jay Berry. Tigers into the offensive end. That was 46 for Syracuse out there. That was Circe who took the draw, but they did not get it. Clune waiting for reinforcements. Greg Stark back onto the field. Syracuse is still a man up here for a couple of seconds, 22 seconds actually. They are letting them play catch out there. Dave Cummings, top of the box. Stark controls. And another whistle. 32 hurt for Towson. He comes limping off the field. He ran into Vanderpool and he went down. Might have twisted an ankle. That's uh, Criswell, who's also played well for Towson. He tried to set a pick on uh, on Vanderpool. Vanderpool went through the pick and Criswell went down. Play back in. 6.45 left to go in the fourth quarter. Syracuse up by six. Time starting to drift away from the Tigers. Now they're just running a one-on-one -on -one way out up on top, hoping that they get something going. Syracuse's close defense doing another great job to take the ball away from the Tigers. That's McCartan's pass. Lead feed to midfield. And that's Soffarelli, and Syracuse's offense sets up. D'Arcangelo hacked in the corner. Heading toward the six-minute mark, time remaining here in the fourth. I want to correct myself, that was Abrams again. He's having a heck of a game. I, the numbers are really hard to read here on Syracuse. It was Abrams who came up with that and started this offensive series for Syracuse by getting the ball down. Casey Powell behind the cage, looking for a cutter in front. Makes the feed over the net, and it's deflected. Ball is loose on the turf. Harold Vanderpool trying to fight for it for the Orange men. And it comes to Kione. He's got a man open. Ryan Powell. The shot behind the back and a score! Ryan Powell gives Syracuse a seven goal lead with 5.39 to go in the game. It's like from Gary to Paul, right? <laughs> and then the behind the back. Coyone, nice no look pass. And here's the movement by Powell. And Ryan Powell takes the behind the backer, which should be enough to finish this game off. Beautiful shot. Perfect placement by Ryan Powell. Bounce shot over the shoulder of John Horrigan. Ryan Powell's had a big day statistically, and Syracuse has a seven goal advantage. Six points for Ryan. Towson trying to stay close as we head down the stretch here in the fourth quarter, but time isn't on their side. Two unanswered goals by the Orange men. To give Syracuse a seven goal lead. Another takeaway by Syracuse. Aggressive ride by Towson. Tigers trying to pick up the ground ball. They can't do it. And a loose ball comes toward midfield. It's taken by Paradise. That's old Safarelli in defensively for Syracuse at the midfield. Ball way out on top. 
Franzen takes it into the box. 4,000, even with the cage on the near side. Some breathing room for the Orange men. Seven goal lead, less than five minutes to go in the fourth. They're trying to set up a one-on-one -on -one way out there, and if he can beat him, make force the slide, and he just does a sweep. Nice play, number two. 4,000 brings him back. Franzen within six. Watch, goes way out, and then he gets the move. He's a left-hander, takes a sweep. Nobody jumped, nobody helped. And uh, Franzen does it with 434 left. So Towson refusing to say die this afternoon in the Carrier Dome. The Orange men have a six goal advantage. About four and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Syracuse 18 of 31 on the faceoffs. Towson has battled back in that department and the Tigers claim another one. Kloon working in. He'll have to shoot in a hurry. Wide of the cage, Towson backs it up. Tigers will keep it with 4.19 left to go in the fourth quarter. They get Dedeker out and get a short stick midi in defensively for Syracuse. That's Dan Stesson, 29. 45-39, the shot department, and as you said, they have crept back. And that department also. Paradise with a bounce shot wide to the near side. And backing up for Towson, Spencer Ford, so the Tigers keep it. Towson's strategy, take them right out, way out on top, see if I can beat somebody one-on-one, -on -one, and, and if they don't jump, I'm going to take my shot. And now they're doing it from the left side. Same idea. Now they pass off. Oh, good save. Gebhardt comes up with another key stop. Syracuse in transition. The Orangemen looking to pad the lead. Danny Stesson takes it ahead for the Orangemen. Ryan Powell tried a centering pass to D'Arcangelo, lost it, but he got it back. Nice job, Paul, getting the ball out. As Burns let him know where he was. Chris Cordisco onto the field with John Ancelone for the Orange Men. Ancelone controls on the far side. Nearly faked out his man. Centering pass taken away by Horrigan again. That's about the fourth time that's happened in this quarter. Long pass, nice pass by Horrigan. Now you got to jump, pick up the guy. Fortunately for Syracuse, it was not the best pass. Bloon lost it. McCartan comes up with the ground ball. Loses it. Yeah. So Towson keeps it in the offensive end. Both teams unable to hang on to that loose ball, so Towson gets it back. Oh. Poor pass. Ground ball taken by Syracuse. Less than three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and it's starting to look good for the Orange men. We got a timeout for Syracuse with 2.36 left. Six goal lead, 18-12. We will come back after a timeout and see if the Orange men can hold on to the six goal lead with 2.36 to go in the fourth quarter. You would think the Orange men are on their way to their fourth win of the 1998 season. Back with more after this. Welcome back to the Carrier Dome. And as you said a moment ago, Dale, the goaltender for Towson, John Horgan, has done this quite a few times to the Orange Men. Well, you know, not only do you have to be able to stop and then make a, a pinpoint pass, it's nice if you can help out your defense. And he's done a great job of reaching out as they try to go cross cage and even over the cage. Horgan's probably nabbed three or four or five just getting the stick out. And uh, Gebhardt knows all about that. He's had 14 saves, made a dandy the last time out. You know, when he first came as an Orangeman, I used to watch him and say, you know, he's a good stopper, but he didn't pass that well when he was younger. He just does a super job now. He's as good as anybody I've ever seen on that outlet pass. He really has improved in that area, and he's made some excellent lead passes today to help the Orange men start the transition game. After the timeout, called by head coach Roy Simmons, Jr., Syracuse with a six goal lead, 18 to 12, heading toward the two minute mark, time remaining in the fourth quarter. Casey Powell sitting on nine goals for the day that ties the Syracuse school record. Gary Gate and Greg Tarbell, the other two Syracuse Orange men to score nine goals in a single game. That's Parks on him. I'm not sure that if I was Parks, I'd be very enviable position to be in. Syracuse going to take their time. If they keep it inside there, they can just run all around inside there. They got to keep it in, however. Ryan Powell being checked by his man behind the cage. 
And Ryan faked as if he was going for goal. <laughs> and his man fell down. We have a whistle stopping play. That's Chris Criswell, who came up limping earlier in the game. And once again, he comes up limping. When he went through, uh, he just collapsed. He went through earlier a, uh, a pick by Vanderpool and went down. And he just was trying to follow Powell. And when Powell made the move, he, he just fell down. Powell complained. Powell said, that's too bad. I get to move on. And we'll, we'll see what happened when he plants right there. And you can see that it hurt his knee. And then Powell says, wait, down, I'll take it. But uh, Criswell is going to be aided as he leaves. Looks like the left knee yeah. is what's uh, giving him pain as he comes off the turf. Play back in after the whistle. The Orange men have it in the offensive end. Casey Powell behind the net. 90 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Ryan Powell holds on the far side. Out high to Kataya. Hacked by his man. Now Kataya comes behind the cage. I was just going to say, in my opinion, it'd be nice if they both ended up with nine and Gary Gate and we're, we're tied. Kataya taking the punishment, just saying, I'll, I'll just take some time off the clock. We're going to double team him. Now he gets a jump. Loses his balance. And a flag is down as Matt Kataya is sent sprawling to the turf. Yeah, when they send you out there and say, hey, young fella, go on out and run some time off the clock. That was Copas who, who clobbered him. But that's what's going to happen because eventually everybody takes a shot at you. Even Oregon reached out and hit him with a stick. Penalty is called against Towson's Jack Copas. 30 seconds for holding. So Syracuse has another man up in this final minute of regulation. The Orange men will improve to 4-0 and oh on the season. Two for five on the power play today. Man up, just trying to take some time off. They got 15 seconds on the uh, penalty and about, what, 38 here, 37 on the quarter. Devin D'Arcangelo trying to bust free from a double team. Another whistle and a timeout. timeout taken by head coach Roy Simmons Jr. What's the strategy here? Less than 30 seconds to go and a six-goal lead. What do you want to tell your players at this point? I don't know. Let's get some new people in. Let's see what we got to do. Uh, you know the situation. We're going to teach here. He teaches all the time. I'm assuming that's what he's trying to do. You know, this might be a game where they're tied up or they're down by one. So I think he's going through the whole the whole strategy thing and uh, just let them learn in this situation. Those look like new helmets for the Orange men this season. The Orange, did they have those last year? They have home and away helmets. I believe they're away helmets or white. At least that's what I was told today. So they're going with the orange helmets, which I like. That, uh, that Cascade helmet, good look. Very sharp looking. Yeah. The women's lacrosse team will be in action against the Albany Great Danes. Syracuse with the first year of the women's lacrosse program on the SU Hill. You'll see Syracuse and Albany women battle Friday, March 27th, 8 o'clock p.m. here on Cable 13. So the lacrosse tradition enters a new era at Syracuse University with the women's lacrosse team. We've got women's soccer right now at Syracuse. A softball team a season or so away. Yep. Check out that women's lacrosse team if you get a chance. They are fun to watch. There's the score. 18-12. Syracuse up by six. They scored their first win ever for the program here in the Dome. 19 to nothing over Siena. Very impressive performance. A whistle as out of the box. Procedure call against Syracuse. Casey Powell came out of the box. You can't in the last two minutes. You 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 got to have the ball. When you're off. When you have the ball on offense, you have to stay in that box. Casey Powell may not be able to get that tenth goal as the Tigers send it ahead. Ten seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Towson loses the handle. Ball loose on the turf. Chasing it down for Towson, Greg Franzen. Last second shot deflected by the Syracuse defense. And the Orange men win their 1998 home opener. Casey Powell leads the way. Nine goals for the Syracuse Orange men in this game. That ties Syracuse's school record. An 18 to 12 win for the Orange men. We'll have more after this timeout here on Super Sports.
Syracuse University Lacrosse on Cable 13 is brought to you by Brian Lacrosse. The Syracuse Orange Men knock off the Towson Tigers in the Carrier Dome today. Very impressive performance by the Orange Men. Towson stayed tight with Syracuse in the second half, Dale, but the Orange defense it wouldn't say die down the stretch. They didn't give up, and uh, Syracuse had a lot of heroes defensively and offensively, but everybody stepped up, and uh, they did what they had to do when they had to do it today. It was, uh, it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Syracuse's leading scorer, Casey Powell, joins us now down on the field. Casey, nine goals today. Congratulations on that. You Thank tie you. the Syracuse single-game record. Were you thinking about trying to get that 10th goal at all? Uh, of course, it popped in my head a little bit, but uh, that wasn't my main concern. Uh, we came out and we played a hard game, and uh, we ended up winning. That's what we wanted to do coming in. Casey, let me ask you a question. A couple of uh, late shots there. I mean, the goal was in. The goalie was turning around to get the ball, and you took a shot. What does that do to you? Does that fire you up, make you mad? Uh, well, I mean, I think that's their job to come in there and try to knock me down, but uh, they got there a little late, obviously. So, uh, you know, I think their job was to go in there and try to knock me down before I shot, but uh, they got me a little late. And, uh, yeah, it makes me a little mad, but uh, when they go in, it doesn't hurt. Well, you, you stand up just like Gary Gate when he got hit. You don't do anything. You just come back and score some more. Nice job. <laughs> you, you, you teamed up with your brother today. Uh, you guys look great as a, as a duo out there. Do you, uh, you guys still uh, practice a lot between yourselves? Yeah, we're practicing a lot, and it's good to have him back at attack. He's, uh, he's an unbelievable player. I think getting the recognition that he deserves instead of being my little brother, he's Ryan Powell, the player. And uh, he's doing an unbelievable job and taking a lot of pressure off me and filling Rob Kevitt's shoes, and uh, it's good to have him on attack with me. Casey, congratulations on a tremendous performance today. Congratulations on the nine Super goals job. and yep. uh, a great win Thanks. for the Orange men. Casey Powell joining us, a first-team All-American last season, preseason All-American this season, Dale, and that certainly is, is a no-brainer. And, you know, he was a player of the year, so uh, he could repeat in all those categories. He's a super player, and as he said, he gives a little credit to his brother. They both uh, complement each other. Got some great offense, too. They did a good job today. We're now joined by the head coach of the Syracuse Orange Men, Roy Simmons Jr., down on the sidelines. Slugger, congratulations yeah. on another great win. Thank you. I got a special friend with me here, Roy Simmons IV. The fourth. The fourth. Ivy? <laughs> Ivy. This is Ivy. <laughs> is he a lacrosse player? Yes, he is. Did he enjoy the game today? Oh, sure he did. He, I, he loves watching Casey Powell. Well, I'll tell you, there was a lot to watch today. Coach, what did you think the keys were? I mean, I thought we thought it might be a blowout, but Towson kept coming back and played yeah. very, very strong. They played very strong. Uh, they always play us tough. Uh, I'm sure we're always their best game of the season. They had a lot of heart, and uh, it's a tough, tough day today for both teams. About 75-degree weather, and... Uh, we lost a lot of fluid, and we, you know, legs are starting to cramp at the end of the game. It was a tough situation today, but uh, we hung in there and did what we had to do when we had to do it. Let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, they had to turn the heat up in the dome today because of some snow was on the dome roof. Casey Powell says he likes playing when it's hot like that. How about the other guys on the well, team? Well, <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, better for the offense to make the defense stay out there and run. We didn't uh, use the patience. We should have kept their defense out there the way we should have. Chris McCartan went down. Uh, heavy. He's been sick all week, and he lost a lot of fluid. We had to give him several IVs and, and some other medication uh, at halftime, but he did come back, and uh, we saw that a couple thousand kids' uh, legs started to go, so it, it's a tough day, even though it was in the great carrier dome. Abrams picked up defensively, I think, too. did a nice job. Yeah, we're hurt uh, in that position. You know, We have a, right. a couple kids out, Joe Siglia and, uh, and Harvey Sacker, and they're both down right now with uh, some injuries that are going to heal. But So we've, uh, we've bumped Marshall up top there. It's not where he's been playing uh, the last month. It's not where he expected to play but he's stepped up and done a nice job for us. Coach, congratulations on the win once again. Best Thank of you. luck the rest of the way. Now 4-0 for the first time since 1990. You yeah. won the national championship that year. And that's right. We're undefeated and one of the only teams in the nation that is. But now we're a prize, and we'll have to fight every week to save it. Roy Simmons, Jr., head coach of the Syracuse Lacrosse Orange Men, now with the six national championships under his belt. And this team... Today, improved to 4-0 on the season. Syracuse looking very good. Up Four by, games into the schedule. Up by uh, six at the end of the game. You can't beat that. And he's right, they're going to be a target from now on. So Syracuse wins it 18-12 over the Towson Tigers in the Carrier Dome. The next time you'll see the men's lacrosse team in action, Sunday, April 5th, Loyola Greyhounds come to town to face Syracuse. Sunday, April 5th, 7 p.m. Thanks for joining us for this evening's Syracuse lacrosse matchup. This has been a presentation of Time Warner Cable.